Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Dana White is talking about coming into boxing again. I hope he does. I hope Dana White isn't just a talker. Because there's talkers and there's smoky bacon walkers, isn't there? But if he does, I think that's good because too many people in boxing think that if they get beat or they don't protect their own, they'll go to the bottom of the pile. That's not necessarily true. It's how you get beat, isn't it? And if you get beat in a good fight, your stock's risen and all that rubbish. But I mean, look at Dylan White. Look at look at Dylan White. I mean, he's just. He's just been iced, Danny Dylan Why iced like an ice cube, the ice man. And he's got a pay-per-view. He's six. Six pay-per-views. Dylan White in his sixth pay-per-view in November. Two months from now he's in his sixth pay-per-view. And he has not fought for a European title yet. Only in boxing could that happen. You've got other kids that have probably sat at home. And they've fought for Europeans and world titles and that, and they're nowhere near a pay per view. I mean, look at Yui. Yui fought Parker, didn't he? Did a better job than him and Dylan White. Yui didn't get a pay per view, did he? Yui did better against Povetkin than Dylan White. And that won't pay per view, were it? So why Dylan White? Because Dylan White has created this character, hasn't he, on social media. He gets himself out there, doesn't he? Like Bellew, like Davy Day. I mean, look at Davy Day, Bellew, and Dylan White. Who's the best win between them all? Who? But yeah, they've had what? Davy Day, what did he have? Six pay per view. White's on his six, that's 12. Bellew had four. 16 pay per views between them, but who's the best winner out of all of them? John McMormack. That's the best winner out of the lot of them, isn't it? That's it. Who's Bellew's best win? Held together by a sellotape day by day. Who's Dylan White's best win? Parker, life and death. That's it. They haven't got an elite win between them, have they really? None of them. But they play the game, don't they? It's all about playing the game. I mean, Tyson Fury is best heavyweight in the world at the moment, but he's not defended a belt yet. Got two world title wins. Two. But they're playing the game, they're out there every single day, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, interviews, constantly, day in, day out, media stuff, media, media, interview, interview, putting controversial stuff out. And this is how boxing's going now and, you know, some of the old timers, the old trainers, they're a bit disillusioned with it and I can understand that. But this is, this is, how, this is how it's going. But if Dana White wants to come in to, to sort boxing out, he's got... He's got to change that mindset. He's got to change the mindset that if you get beat, you can still still be in good fights. Mickey Ward kept getting beat, didn't he? But he got there eventually, didn't he? He got there and eventually, if you put your heart into it and you leave it all in the ring, the fans will get behind you. It's the fans. They all say it's about the fans, don't they? But when I look at some of the stuff that's going on at the moment, I think to myself, What's going on here? Boxing's had a chance, hasn't it? To make it, put a marker down and say, we're boxing, we're the most watched sport, and we're going to be back with a bang. We've not come back with a bang, have we? Look at the box rate ranking of the guy Carl Frampton has just fought on a Warren show. Shocking. Look what Eddie's served up. Yeah, they were good fights, weren't they? But, come on. Oh, we know where it is, don't we? We know what's going on. It is... It, the product's terrible now, isn't it? Terrible. And it's got to change. Now, we can't keep wheeling out 40-odd-year-olds on pay-per-view from other countries. I mean, Dylan White's just been iced, and yet he's getting another pay-per-view. <laughs> You're getting knocked out by 41-year-old men out cold, and they're, getting, they're handing out pay-per-views like confetti. It's all messed up, isn't it? It's all messed up. But we're not going to stop anybody yearning. Dylan White's a tough kid, isn't he? He gets himself out there on social media, doesn't he? But is that what boxing's about? Getting yourself out there and doing interviews and saying controversial stuff? Or is it about 
get knuckling down and getting some graft done. I mean, I'd like to see Dave Allen just forget all this Instagram crap and selfies and f just go to the gym and train and go back. You know, Robert McCracken, he said something to me once when I was stood with Carl Frotch and he was going on about Mayweather. Robert McCracken were training at Top Rank Gym in Vegas. Mayweather, he's never been one of them to do to be, to train when he's told to train. He'll come and train when he wants. He used to come in in an afternoon. What he'd been doing all night, I don't know, but he'd come in in an afternoon and do a full-on two-hour session, not speak to anybody, train really hard and go. Clinton Woods is like that. You go to gym to train. You don't go to the gym to attend and sit there on edge at ring talking to people about who said what on social media. You go to train. Mayweather, turn up, train, go home and rest. That's it. And I think there's too much of this social media boxers. I think there's too much of it going on. And if you're watching this and you're a boxer, ask yourself this. Am I spending too much time on social media and on Twitter and on Instagram and YouTube? When I'm a training. Because you know the champions? Did, did they do the same thing? You know the greats? Could you imagine Marvin Agler on Twitter all day? Could you imagine Tommy Hearns on Twitter? You, know, you can't spell anyway, like, but... Could you imagine Tommy, Tommy Hearns on Twitter tweeting all day or Frank Bruno, people like that, they wouldn't do it would they? You're good at gym train, do you do your graft and then you go rest don't you, have your tea and rest. But I'm hoping that Dana White can change all this mindset, this, this, if you get beat you go to the bottom of the pile and just put people in great fights because we're not, we're not seeing these fights are we? I mean, boxing needs an overall. It needs somebody. I've been calling for Donald Trump to come and sort it out. It needs somebody to come in and shake it and start their own governing body, like the border control. Dana White could do a world governing body, start that up, and he could do like uh, his own belt because he'd want to do his own belt, wouldn't he? And that would put pressure on all the shit houses, wouldn't it? The WBC, WB crooks, WBA. Five world champions in one weight division. The WBO, don't even get me talking about them. That don't even count, does it? The WBO. Uh, what's the other one? The IBO. I don't mind IBO, but they don't do mandatories. And the IBF. God. You see where I'm coming from? He needs somebody to just torpedo it all and start again. So get behind me because that's what we're calling for. And Dana White. You're welcome on this channel anytime, Dana, but don't be going on YouTube, Dana, Dana chatting shit about coming into boxing and, and just doing it for effect. If you're going to do it, do it. Don't chat shit, because this is not the first time you've done it, is it, Dana? If you're going to do it, do it properly. All right? Like you've done with UFC, do it properly, but don't chat nonsense, because boxing's crying out for new people to come in. Bob Arum's 90 in his next birthday. He's ready for an Shackleton's eye seat chair. Barry Earn, he's 70 odd, isn't he? Fish Eyes Frank's nearly 70. So you know, you know, th th these people are not going to be around forever, are they? Right? Brick tops, what is Brick? I think Brick Top's 68, is he? So, so Brick Brick Top's probably going to have another 10 year at game, isn't he? But he could end up another Bob Arum. He could be doing it for another 20 year. Don King's finish, he's out at game, he ripped everybody off. So we need new blood. We need, I'd love to see Dana White come in and butt heads with Oscar De La Hoya and Eddie Earn because they're all similar age, aren't they? That'd be good for the sport, I'd like to see that. But it needs new ideas. I mean, Dana White should go work with somebody like Lou DeBella. Dana White and Lou DeBella, they could be a good team then. They could be a good team. Lou could guide him, show him ropes and that, and show him who to work with and not to work with. But I'd like to see something like that. I, I don't want to see the promoters we've, that we've got at the moment that are just paying lip service to fighters so that they don't go on other people's shows. Because that's what's going on, isn't it? You've got fighters telling other fighters, yeah, but we'll, we'll do this way, we'll do that. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Stop chatting nonsense. People going out there putting, f saying that we've got fights on. 
and, and some of them are even making posters. Yeah, well, we're going to do this fight, but you can't tell anybody. What are you making posters for then? Look, there's talkers and there's smoky bacon walkers, and there's a lot of talking going on at the moment, isn't there? I'm not seeing any action. A lot of talking. So, but Dana White, please come into boxing, please. Come and sort this shower of shit out. Come and sort it out once and for all. And let's have a proper run sport. I, I mean, what other sport are you going to get where the top two heavyweights in the world are not fighting? Could you imagine Ali and Joe Frazier? Well, we're not going to fight. Why? Well, my promoter don't like his promoter. What? What's all that about? Hey, eh? What other sport would you get that in? Imagine Ronnie O'Sullivan and Judd Trump saying not, they're not going to play in in, uh, in Masters in final or UK or you know World Championship, you know Triple Crown events, the main three. Oh, we're not going to play in it. We don't want to play each other. Why? Well, because my manager don't like his manager and blah de blah. Look, it's a load of rubbish, isn't it? You know, it's like. Liverpool and Man United not playing in FA Cup final because managers can't stand each other. Look, point I want to make is I'm all for Dana White coming into boxing and, and sorting it out once and for all. Getting rid of border control in England and sorting it all out. Getting rid of all these governing bodies. Oh, a lot have got to go, aren't they? The lot have got to go. All the lot. We just need one belt. Wouldn't it be great though if we just had one belt? You had a champion, then you had everybody else, and they were like a number, and they had to work their way up. Wouldn't that be great? Instead of promoters lobbying to get fighters bumped up rankings over a nice steak meal, don't we? We don't need to get rid of all that, don't we? We do, don't we? I mean, it that doesn't happen in tennis, does it? it? Doesn't happen in tennis. It doesn't happen in golf. So why does it happen in boxing? Why? Tennis is the same sort of sport as boxing, one on one. It doesn't happen in snooker. They have a ranking system. I mean, Barry Hearn knows this because he, he, he they created the ranking system, didn't they, for the snooker? So why can't, why why do we have to put it in boxing? I don't know. Is it or is it just men behaving badly, wanting to pretend that being gangsters or pretending at being bad men? I don't know. I just uh, I don't know. I just. Uh, but it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares and thank you for liking and subscribing the video. We're going in the right direction now. <whistles> going up.